Oh, no, it's happening. It's happening. <gasps> oh, yes. That's exactly what we want to have. Good tidings to you, YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope it, well, if you're in America, and if you like Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. I am home on Cape Cod with a massive problem. There's nothing in this cup. Everything's a lie. I hope your Thanksgiving is going terrible. Great, but mine is going terrible. Actually, my thanks, forget it. There was a small issue, so come closer. Also, since it's Thanksgiving and it's a holiday, this video is half off, just like a deal on Black Friday. I'm imagining this will be shorter, so. Okay, so these are what the buttons look like, and this is my first time ever making clothes, and I'm not used to any of it, actually, in fact. It's kind of like going into a restaurant, and then they don't give you a menu, and they say, what do you want? And you say, what do you have? And they say, anything in the world. And then they walk away. There's, everybody kind of talks like I've been doing this for a really long time, like all the vendors and stuff, and I haven't been. These buttons came out great, but not exactly how I wanted them. And it's not YKK's fault at all, I don't think. I also don't really think it's my fault. The finish is not exactly what I wanted. I like when buttons have depth to them, and these this is very uniform, so it doesn't have depth. So, I bought Acid. Jax, iron steel and nickel blackener, master metal finishing solution, danger, causes severe skin burns and eye damage. This is exactly what we need the day before Thanksgiving. We're gonna attempt to blacken the buttons, and then I'm gonna sand the top. I have no idea if that'll actually work. I also, I was talking to YKK, and I was like, tell me exactly what these buttons are made out of. And they're like, brass. And I was like, okay, the entire thing is brass? And they were like, well, no, the cap is nickel plated. And I was like, okay, how deep is it? Can you actually tell me the exact alloy of this nickel? And also, what's your entire manufacturing process? I'm going to hand age all of the buttons for the first round of jackets, because I think it, they'll just look a lot better. I feel like it'll make the jacket in general better. And then I have this wine glass, and I have this um, Tupperware container, which now that I think about it, I'm just gonna go get the other wine glass because I'm really scared I'm gonna accidentally poison my family. This is acid, so I just keep it, I just keep seeing something going wrong where I forget to wash this out, or even if I don't, I don't wash it out well enough, and then I, we put gravy in it from Thanksgiving, everybody has the gravy, and dies. I should say, actually, the reason I'm using a wine glass is because no one in my family drinks. Someone gave these to us, don't worry, we love them but no one drinks here, so there will never be an issue with that. So that's why I'm using them, not because I want them to burn from the acid. I am so happy to be back on Cape Cod. Have I mentioned that yet? It is just, this baking, I thought it was gonna be baking powder. I only had baking soda. I think that's fine. And this is a glove. Here we go. I'm rolling my cuffs down because this is a new sweater and I don't want to get poison all over it. I bet it's not even that bad of a thing. And people are like, dude, this is, I drink that for breakfast. Goodbye. Wow, what are the odds it would land that side up? I don't think anything's happening yet. It's a bad sign. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to start the timer. Oh, no, it's happening, it's happening. Oh, yes, that's exactly what we want to Oh my god. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I can't believe it's happening. Nothing ever works. There it is. Can you see? Oh, I can't touch the lens now. Okay, it just has to go into the soda. Sorry, everyone. In it goes. Okay, so I just left it in longer. It didn't seem to be doing anything, which is totally fine. I don't know if it's because the baking soda or because it was in water or if it diluted more or what. So there is nothing I hate more oh, than the feeling of sandpaper on my fingers, but here we go. Ta-da! Much better altogether, I think, is the original. And here is aged. What are our thoughts? I really don't know. Making a FaceTime call to Catherine Mooney. Yo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I need your, I just, uh, I just aged the buttons a little bit. I need your opinion and I, I wanted to do it on camera. Okay, that's fine. What are you doing? Sure. I'm in Utah going last minute grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. Oh, amazing. Dude. Dude, first one. Top. Wait, top one? Top. Absolutely. Yeah? Why? What were you going to say? The other one? Probably. I think it looks way better. Okay, there you we can, go. You can see the design way better. It's like, he, the snail stands out. It looks good. 
I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, dude. That was cool. I, I never, so far, so far, Mooney has predicted, said, said all good advice, and usually I had, it takes a while for me to admit I'm wrong. Mooney was someone that said no patch on the jacket. Like, it shouldn't come with that. Christy always, like, will do this thing where he asks me, yeah, what do you think of this? And just knowing full well he's going to do whatever he thought of initially. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye. <laughs> We love Mooney. Okay, Mooney has spoken. Aged, so in they go. Let's get to aging, baby. Shout out to anyone that knows what those are for. This is our Thanksgiving special. I am now going to do the rest of these buttons while sitting here. And what I used to do in the garage with these totes is my dad's a fisherman, so he would get a bunch of huge totes of frozen squid, and then he would have to get up so early in the morning and get home so late at night, he'd be too tired or just tired to the point where he didn't have time to do that. So I would sit with these totes, with two massive totes and a bunch of Ziploc bags, and I would just scoop up all these dead frozen squid and put them in the plastic bag and then do like two or three totes worth of those and then I'd put them, we have a freezer there, a freezer downstairs and a freezer in our shed. And I would put everything in there so that way in the morning when he woke up, he could pull them out and they'd be frozen and he'd go fishing with them. Okay, so really, I'm just gonna be doing this again and again and again. So I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but one thing I did wanna try real quick is I wanted to put some of these in at a different time, like less for less time, and just see if they look kind of cool. This is really, obviously it's gonna take me a very long time. See, they turn gold. I think gold is the move. Gold seems really cool. Hello. It's my mom. There it goes. It's eating through the, it. the nickel. Yeah. And then it's exposing the brass. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving for whatever reason, Happy day off. I hope you are with people that you love, and if you're not, I hope you're having a nice day. Anyways, though. Woo! What? Nev, <laughs> it's a snail on the butt. There is no bug. You know it's there. I don't see what you're talking about. You think there's a bug. 